have reached Dwight's Beach Confession. Good evening, bitches. 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 Hey, who the fuck who you is, boy? Get the fuck out of my life. We're showing you cunt flaps. Why would you believe any of this? Well, man, the, the gentleman, he, he's the... The gentleman? Who is the fucking gentleman? Well, ma'am, ma'am, please bring it down a notch. You need to learn proper masturbation skills. I wish your car was at my lot. I would have to fuck you up with man. God bless. It's morphin' time. Morphin' time. Lawsuit time. Loser. Inappropriate. I'll no. fuck it, call you! Wait, you we'll... fuck it, call the girl, call his number again! We're gonna call a uh... lot. Well, I see the chick from my fucking head right now, and I'll fucking put a knife in your fucking throat. Mm, fuck yeah. Let me keep the car, No, I didn't. Oh, your mom took the hell out of the medicine truck. Uh, come right this time. Gathering around to make a prank call. Wow. Your fucking wife loves it when I check her meter. Uh, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a cooler <laughs> floss <laughs> and it right up your ass. I just got done blowing my boy Dwight and shit. Well, if you were doing your job, ma'am, and you would, you would walk into that room right now and pull down his pants and start jerking him off and showing him. Oh, you fucking dick. Did you say that to me? You fucking asshole. Keep it down. Hello? Hey, how you doing there? Uh, you came out and you had worked on my pool. And... I know it looked great when you left, but uh, apparently after two days, uh, now it's all green. So I'm going to need you to come out here and fix whatever you did to this pool. Because I didn't pay you to put green water in my pool. You pay who? You work on my pool, and I wanted blue water. Instead, you gave me green water. Oh, good. Thank you. Very good. What, what do no you mean? No problem. Yeah, I put your water clear. No problem. Text me your address. No, you give me green water. I don't want green water. I want okay. clear blue water. Okay. Okay, text me your address. I'm going to text there. you the address. Well, Tony, you didn't do a real fucking good job. I'm not going to give you no more tip. Okay, no problem. Good for no, you. No, you don't say good to me. You say yes. No, fuck. <laughs> what? Good for you. No, you say yes. You say yes, sir. Okay, you're right. The green, you, you, okay, okay. You swimming and you and and green water. Okay. No, Good you luck. can make it blue now. Make it blue. Okay, okay text me your address. I go. I'm going to text you. <laughs> Why you laugh? Why? Oh, he left. Thank you for calling the Brazen Head. How may I help you? Hey, are you doing to-go orders, like pickup orders, curbside, anything like that? Yeah, absolutely, I ma'am. We can do that for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get Any it. Any way to generate revenue, we're in for it. Yeah, I understand <laughs> that. Sure. Hey, what's your name, my man? Uh, my name is Dwight. Dwight? Yep. And can I get a phone number from you, Dwight? Uh, yeah, it's 415-515-515. Two one nine one. Twenty one ninety one. What are you thinking tonight, my man? Uh let's see. You don't do I, I know most places don't, but you don't do the uh to go like alcoholic drinks at all, do you? No, we can do drinks to go. Okay. You Let have me, to order food though. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna order food. Um I wanna get mm-hmm. do you, you do do you do an old fashioned? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do an old fashioned. Uh, and then I was looking mm-hmm. and I'm, I got my eye on something just scrumptious to eat tonight. Can I go ahead and order one milk steak? Yeah. The, uh, uh, pepper steak, you mean? Yeah. The milk steak. Yeah. The milk steak. Right. We don't have a milk steak. Oh, did you run I have out? a filet mignon. I have a, no, we don't carry a milk steak. Oh. I have a pepper steak. I have prime rib. I have filet mignon. Okay, and then there's no way that they could they could make the milk steak. We don't do a milk steak at all. 
Okay, so if I order the filet mignon, could they take that with the milk mm-hmm. and put it in the blender and blend it? And then we would have uh, the No, they're steak? not going to do No, we can't do that. No. Okay. Well, I'll take... No. You have a, do you have a strip? You have like a New York strip? Yeah, I have a New York strip, yeah. What size? How many ounces? Yeah, they can't... They, it's a uh, 12 ounce. That's a pretty good size piece of beef there. Um, let me take that... And then I want a side mm-hmm. of your finest jelly beans. <laughs> None of those, my man. I got baked potato, mashed potato. Yeah, but that's that's too many carbs. I'm trying to avoid that. So if you could just saute me up some jelly beans, I prefer a watermelon and strawberry flavor. And yeah, just a little that's oil not going to happen, butter. my brother. Yeah, I can't do that. We don't have that stuff, my brother. I got green beans. You got green bean? Green beans. I have string beans. Yeah, he is string. He needs to go to the gym more. He needs to buff up. He's a little pussy. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta look at this menu better. You got it, my man. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Pilot two thirteen. How can I help you? Hey, hey. how you doing? Hey. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Just, just want to get that out there. I'm trying. All right. <laughs> um, the, I know my friend, he's kind of sandbagging me over here, and he says that we uh-huh. sent a fax over to you, and I got to go get it. And he's being a real asshole. He won't even give me gas money. Oh, wow. Um, you want me to check to see if it's yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, if you could. Okay, give me one second. Thank you for calling Pilot 213. This is Joshua. How can I help you? Hey, I was talking to a woman and then nobody. She disappeared. I don't know. What did you do to her? Uh huh. Now, the facts. I'm calling her back about the facts. What facts? Well, I was calling. You got to get it hung up. You got to hang everything up. Hello? Stupid. Stupid. Pilot, coming to Mrs. Sierra. How can I help you? Hi, how you doing? Um, I just said he, uh, I, I'm, I believe corporate sent in a fax, and I was supposed to call and confirm uh, that you'd gotten the fax. Yeah, I know. You just put it on there. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Yeah, yeah. You got you got the fax. You said I would be calling uh, to confirm everything got through all right. Um... Eight six three one. Eight six three one. Hey, will you grab those papers right there? Sorry. Oh no, you're fine. I'm fine. Um, bad swipe. Mix y- y- yes. Sorry, yes. not you. Okay, so I have the facts. Yeah, and we just want to make sure everything came through okay, and then we need to go ahead and hang this all up in a high visible area. A high visible area. Yeah, preferably yeah. over by the uh, the entrance, not, uh, I would say the gasoline side, I'll not the uh, diesel not side. I'll do it when I'm off. Okay, so um, right now I have something about Henry sat on his spaceship, lone window. Right, Is, was that page one? It has a chicken on it and a house and... um. What is that? Because I haven't seen the facts myself. I'm actually... Sp- oh, okay. I'm, I'm just, yeah. I'm just confirming that everything came through. What was on page two? It's on page two. Page two is a house on it. It says Ojin Reality. Okay. Okay. I mean, it says it's from Pilot Corporate. Right. And what was on page three? I believe there were supposed to be six pages total. If you could just let me know what's on each page. There's seven pages. Well, including the uh, the, the first page, the, correct? Yeah, the cover sheet. Yeah. So the second page has a chicken on it. A chicken. Okay. Or a rooster. And these have to be hung up somewhere? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Preferably over by the door on the gas side, not the diesel side. Okay. I don't know what that is, but that does not look... I don't know what this is. This fourth page. Well, uh, what is, can you do your best to? What what what, what is it? I'm sorry. Say that again. What was it now? You said you couldn't tell what it is, or yes, I can't tell what it. I can tell what it is, but it does not look very appropriate. 
What it, what is it? I, I like I said, I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't seen it? I haven't seen the facts at all. I was I was just confirming that the transmission went through and that everything came through clear. Like all the, uh, it wasn't all uh, blurry or anything like that. I mean, it's not blurry, but I, I'm. <laughs> I can see what they are. And what, what is it? Well, the fourth page. I'm not going to tell you what the picture is, but I can see. I can read you a line, and you. I think you can t- see what the picture is. For the past year, Henry has refused to masturbate. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, Don't under- think I think this I understand. Needs to be I think it's. Up. Okay, these were the the new health uh, requirements, the new guidelines that we have for the store. That's what this mm-hmm. is. Yeah, that's why we have to hang it up. Okay, there's seven pages, so I have to hit, hang, hang up all seven pages. Well, you don't have to hang up the cover sheet. Uh, if you just want to hang up the six adjoining pages, um, you know, in a I guess like a storyboard fashion, you know, page one, page two, page three. And then put page four down below page one, and then uh, five below two, and six below three, uh, in that fashion. Okay. Yeah, let me have, I'm going to have you talk to my manager, okay? All right. So that, I'm not a manager, but I just want to make sure you, that you, she you knows what's going like on. You sound you should be. You sound very intelligent. Oh, really? You, you sound fantastic in my book. Okay, thank you. I am working my way there. I've only been here seven months, but... Seven months and you're not a manager? We have three GSLs and two supervisors. Oh. Yeah. You you know so. what would probably, uh, I guess, uh, escalate the process um, is if you show more tummy. Like if you were to just <laughs> raise your shirt just above the belly button and show tummy... Okay. And I think that, are they a bunch of male supervisors or female? I have two females and two males. Are they lesbian, do you know? Or do they have attraction to females? They both have husbands. Let them take a picture of your midriff, of your tummy, and maybe they can show it to their husbands, and then they can talk about getting you um, maybe a supervisorial position. Uh, Maybe you could possibly be a GM, for all I know. Maybe. Let me ask you this, because some, mean, some, girl, some girls deal right. with this and some don't. Like, if you were to pull up your shirt right now, like, just above your belly button, is there any hair around it look like a little, you know, a little cinnamon in the oatmeal kind of situation? No, there yeah. is not. Oh, so you, you take care of it, you remove, you do a hair removal process. Do you do the lasers or do you wax? No, I am a blonde, so it's all blonde. Oh, okay, so it's it's a little hairy, but it's not thick like Sasquatch or nothing like that. Yeah. Okay. No, that sounds good. Hey, you ever think about like, you know, like if I came over and I could, I could put my initials in the hair, but nobody would be able to see because it's blonde, right? I think that'd be fun. I'm thinking this is not true at all. Hello, blonde. Come back, blonde. Hi, this is Kathy. Thanks for calling Pilot. We're feeling life's journeys. How may I help you? Yeah, I don't, I don't like your name. Your your name's now Barbara. So, Barb's, Babs, uh, we had an issue. There was a woman on the phone. She wandered away. I think she got all scatterbrained, and we were talking about a Wait. fax. Okay, I don't know who Barb is, but That's there's no now. Barb here. That's you now. I don't like Kathy. I don't like that name. I don't care what you like. My name is Kathy, so you're going to call me Kathy. And what are these about? You I don't sound want like, you sending You sound crude. like a Karen. Why are you sending... Um, crude pictures of um, uh, male genitalia to us. This was issued by the corporate office. I'm just confirming that the transmission... And who is your... What is your name, sir? My name is Henry. Your name's Henry, but you're not calling from corporate office because it would say that. Right. I'm calling from my personal number. That's why it's blocked. Because you don't need my personal number. I'm not putting these up in my store. I will um, send a picture to my you know, GM before if, I put anything up. If you up. don't put them up, I'm, I will send you home with a write-up. You don't even know my name. Yeah, you want to call me Barb. Bye. Oh, it's Kathy. Sassy. 
Yeah, she. Oh, that was great. <laughs> does have an I don't like her. Music. She had no part of that. Cat done called her ahead of time. Got her all fired up. Yeah, get her, get her off the phone. Really, you think Barb is better than Kathy? Though, I mean, I guess it kind of is. No, I just thought it was a funny insult to change her name without her permission. Oh, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling Pilot. This is Jamie. May I help you? Hey, I like that name. That's a nice name. Uh, listen, I'm calling from uh, the office of corporate, and we had just sent over a fax, and I believe on the cover sheet it should have said that I would be calling to verify the integrity of the fax. Yeah, I haven't received anything. No fax. Um, I just walked in, so let me double check. All right. I'd appreciate that. Hi, this is Brittany. What can I do for you? Hey, Brittany. Uh, I'm calling from the office of corporate. We sent a fax in over there, and I was supposed to call and uh, check the integrity of the fax. Okay, what was the fax? Uh, well, it should have been six pages uh, along with the cover letter would make seven. And we just need to make sure that uh, all the directions and the images came through clear because we've been having an issue with them uh, actually blurring during the transmission. Okay, give me one second. Is it from Avant Facts? Uh, yes. Okay. And I mean, yes, we did get it. But, uh. Okay, and I haven't seen the facts. <laughs> that was awesome. She looked at it and gave a fucking chuckle. Bop. <laughs> You heard her laugh when she clunked you. <laughs> yeah, she, she clunked me right on the melon with that fucking fax. Thank you for calling Pilot 239. What can I do for you? Hey, we got disconnected. You were checking on the uh, the fax to make sure that all six pages came in. Okay, I did receive a fax with a vulgar picture in it, so... Well, I haven't seen the fax yet, but it came from corporate, so it shouldn't be vulgar. It was supposed to be new... Uh, it was supposed to be new ways that we're supposed to keep the store clean along with... Uh, washing hands and uh, things like that. No, it was definitely very vulgar facts. Vulgar in what way? Vulgar as in um, male nudity vulgar. Male nudity. Okay, so it was something that would be offensive if we hung it up? Uh, yeah. Yes, of course it would. Okay. Well, let me have you go ahead and hang it up anyway. And Okay, I'm going to have to go ahead and pass. You can have a wonderful night. Don't talk to me like I'm one of your fucking okay. girlfriends. Like, okay. Let's just do this okay. and this. Why don't Thank you, talk you to me very like an much. Enjoy talk like an your adult. night. Goodbye. So this is Stephanie McTiffany. She was a complete ah. Stephanie McTiffany. <laughs> she was. <laughs> oh, the way she said that. <laughs> car crash calls. Yeah, we can get the car crash calls. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bitch. Uh, what's the facts have on it? That's a that's a good do question. That. You have a nice thing, uh, man. Graveyard goons, because I have not seen said facts. So, Ax, but why don't you explain to us what is on the facts? Now I'm gonna wait until all these are done. You're gonna wait. Okay. Okay. Well, we're yeah, we're gonna wait. Let's see what people see, and then we'll. <laughs> if they don't get it all, then we'll we'll explain. It reminds me of that song. Do you see what I see? That good old Christmas song. Yeah, that that's what the inspiration a penis, was. A penis, a male genitalia. Thank you for calling, pal. This is Dustin. Let me help you. Hey, big Dustin. Uh, I'm calling. Uh, you got the fax from me from corporate. Uh, we need to go ahead and double check the integrity of that transmission uh, to make sure you got everything or if we need to resend. Okay. Um, give me one second, please. All righty. Hello. Hi, how are you? Um, did you well, up- and you? Oh, I'm, I'm fantastic. Uh, so I'm calling from the help desk. Uh, corporate said they were going to send in a uh, fax on the new procedures for the uh, social distancing, the washing of the hands, the uh, hygiene. Um, we need to get it hung up in the store. Did you receive that fax? Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Henry. And Henry? I have, yeah, I have an employee ID number if you'd like it. All right. What's your last name, Henry? Well, I can't give you the last name because that's against company policy, and I'm sure you know that. Oh. Well, I'll be calling help desk back. What's your employee number? It is S is in Sam, P is in Paul, the number three. Hi. R is in Randy, R. M is in Michael. Why are you calling help desk? 
Well, we better call her back and get to the bottom of this. Thank you for calling Pilot 242. This is Maureen. How can I help you? Hi. I was just speaking to a woman, and she malfunctioned the phone. She doesn't know how to work it. Do you have somebody that I could speak to? Uh, you can speak to me, sir. I'm manager on duty. Okay. Well, I was calling about the facts, about the new hygiene procedures that were sent in from the corporate, and I needed to make sure that you had gotten that fax and that everything had come through crisp and clear. Okay. Um, what is your... What's your first name, sir? Henry. Okay. And your employee number? It is S as in Sam, P as in Paul, the number three, R as in Randy, M as in Michael, 1214. And you're with what corporate office? Uh, I'm with uh, Pilot. I'm with the help desk. Not our employee ID number. Well, this is the help desk, ma'am. I don't work for Pilot directly. Our help desk does. No, no, we don't. We're an independent contractor. Um, what's the number I can call you back at? Because I'm going to call my actual help desk and verify. Okay, and which number? Do you want the extension here? Uh, number to contact you back at, sir. Okay, go ahead and let me know when you're ready for that. I'm ready, go you ahead. You can contact me at 877-866-7378. Extension 150. Okay, I caught 877 866 378. No, no, it's 877 866 7378. Okay. And it's extension 150. All right, thank you. I'll call you back in a moment. Uh, why can't you speak to me now? Because, sir, I told you I was going to call my help desk and verify. And verify. What, what are you just going to call me back at my desk? This is a little. Okay, I mean, that's how your womanly brain works. Really? Yeah. I mean, if you're going to get snooty with me, I'm just going to, I'm going to God bless you. Oh, sir, because I know how my corporate office works. This isn't uh, it. Ma'am, may all your shits have antlers, okay? (laughs) (laughs) What was that fucking laugh? Pilot 247, this is James. Hey, big James. How you doing, buddy? Uh, Listen, calling from over here at the help desk. And corporate yep. said they were sending in one of those faxes. I don't know if fax machines still were a thing, but they said that the new procedures on the uh, the health and hygiene and the washing and the social distancing, they faxed it over, and we need to make okay. sure that it came in and we got to get it hung up. All right. Well, let's see if they're coming yet. I appreciate it. I'll wait on the phone. All right. Yeah, I have it in my hand. All right. It should probably be seven pages total. You got the cover sheet, and then you got uh, six instructional sheets. Yep. Okay. And I haven't seen this. I've heard from a couple people. Can you just confirm what's on each page for me so I can make sure you got them all? Uh, Page 207 has a house on the front of it, like mountains or whatever. Okay. a church with information about COVID. Okay. Um, three, there's a rooster on it with some more information. Okay. Four, I can't even tell what that is. Okay, was it blurred or something, or it's just... Something like that, yeah. Okay, we might have to reset number three then. Okay, what's on the next one? Somebody's face. Is it like one of our yeah. our employees, like a, a spokesperson or something? Yeah, he's got long hair or something like half bald. Okay, yeah. And what's on the next page? Uh, some more information about Henry. About Henry. Okay, and what is the information? Because Henry is the fictional person we were using as far as the story of, you know, about social distancing, washing your hands. Um, Henry stared dumbfounded at failing numbers on the dial. And then it just goes on. It's like the whole page. Okay, skip about halfway down and what's on that part. Um, it says, uh, Billy struggled, struggled, but Henry pinned his son down effortlessly as he raped him. Oh, okay. So, all right. So what's on the, on the, on the next page? 
an old guy. There's a, yeah, because we have to have rules. We have to have different rules for the uh, the older population, our older patrons. Um, that it does it say anything about? Uh, I, I guess staying further away from the older uh, people wearing masks or. Um, tell, her, nope. tell her to mind her own fucking business. Huh? The lady who just said, who is that? That wasn't, that was my manager. Yeah, tell her to mind her own fucking business. So what's on the next page? Um, huh? What's on the next page? That was all of it. Don't make me raise my voice. What's on the next page? That was all the pages. What's on the next page, motherfucker? Tell me now. How can I help you? Hey, how are you? I love the, the sound of your voice. It's got just the right amount of pitch in it. Uh, what I'm calling about is I'm here at the help desk, and we sent a fax over, and it should have said that I would be calling to verify that everything came through on the fax, and we just need to uh, make sure that everything came clear, and if not, which pages we need to resend. Okay, and who am I speaking with? My name is Henry. And you're from the help desk? I'm from the desk of help. And what's the number that we can call you back at? It is 877. One second here. Mm-hmm. 877, yeah? Yeah, and it's 866-7378. Okay, Henry. All right. Do you have an employee ID, Henry? I do have an employee ID number if you'd like it. Yes, I would. It is S is in Sam. P is in Paul, the number three, R is in Randy, M is in Michael, one, two, one, one. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to let you know, we did receive an inappropriate fact, so this is uh, true because we're handing it over to the service department due to the uh, nature of the text. Okay, uh, well, we have them contact corporate here about because it. Because it was uh, pornography. The, well, I haven't seen the facts. Yeah, it was pornography, so we do have to hand it over. We we don't allow that. I mean, we have minors working here, and they do not need to see yeah, anything like that. The that was sent police? Yeah, it, well, it, it is. So we don't know if it's child porn or not, so we are handing it over. You have a good day, though. You as well. Thank you. At no point in the story is an age indicated. So why their <laughs> mind with their... <laughs> they're adding things in our imagination. Yeah, they're really taking the and added to it. They're, uh, yeah, they're adding... They're, they're doing their own fucking thing. They're like, this is clearly child porn. It's like, yeah, no? <laughs> like, Imaginary extrapolation. Yeah, we'll create that out of this. <laughs> stupid asses. <laughs> Morons. We got miners working here. Well, first off, I doubt that because to work the register and, you know, people want cigarettes and things like that, miners can't be handing out cigarettes. They can't be doing that shit. So I doubt very highly you've got miners working at a truck stop. Stupid ass again. Thank you for calling Kenny's Woodbride Girl. This is Skylar. Hi, Skylar. I got a complaint uh, about an order. I did a, I did a curbside pickup. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Um, let me go ahead and get you with the manager just because I'm not the person to talk to. Give me just one second. I'm going to put you on hold. Okay. Thank you. She sounded like she was in fucking trouble. We sure she's not being held captive and forced to work? Hello, this is John. How can I help you? Hey, John. Uh, I was just calling. I, I'd done a, a curbside pickup about uh, about an hour ago. And I had ordered a uh, a chicken. I guess it would be a combo. It came with a side of uh, it had like baked potato and fries or something. I don't know. But I ordered the I ordered the chicken uh, medium rare, and the chicken was overcooked. Oh, you ordered the chicken medium rare? Yeah, yeah. That's how I get everything. I get my steaks, burgers, chicken, everything medium rare. Okay, and what's your name? Uh, the last name, the name? The last name would have been McClanahan. McClanahan. Yes. Can you spell that for me, please? M C C L A H A N. M C C L A H A N. Right. Okay. And first name, sir? Dwight. 
the way? Yeah, D W I G H T. All right. Do I may I get your phone number, please, sir? Yes, it is nine seven two three nine two one five one five. One five one five. Okay. First off, let me apologize if that was not done correctly for you. I apologize. I don't know whether that. I have to check the orders and figure out what happened there. So I do apologize for that, Mr. McClanahan. Um, if, uh, were you able to uh, eat the food at all? I mean, I can. I'm going to certainly make that up for you. Well, I, I I gave it to my dog. Okay, I'm sorry about that. All right. Uh, have you been taken care of for the night? Then I mean, uh, do you need to come back in to get something? Oh no, else, no I'm or? not going. I'm not going to come back out tonight. Uh, another time okay. would be uh, would be perfectly fine. I come in all the time. Okay. All right, Mr. May I get your address, Mr. McClanahan? Yeah, you sure can. It is 1375, and it's Horse Machine Ranch Road. Horse Machine? Yep, horse. They're all separate words. Horse Machine Ranch Road. Okay. And where is that at? Oh, it's right here. It's right here in the city. Addison? Yeah. And zip code? 75? Yeah, 75. 248? Two, two, yep. All right, Mr. McClanahan, I'm going to check into this. I do apologize again for that, that you weren't able to eat your dinner tonight. Oh, it's, it's, it's no problem. Like I said, we got bigger things to worry about in this day and age right now. So. <laughs> right on. You know, a little over, overcooked well, chicken. You know, I just, I just like it. It's just a preference. I just like it medium, you know, medium rare chicken. Understood. Understood. All right, Mr. McClanahan, I appreciate you calling back, and uh, we'll definitely address this, and we'll get something out to you. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Testicles. For calling Papa's Brothers Big House, my name's Lisa. How may I assist you? Hey, Lisa. I, I'm glad you answered, and I don't, I don't mean to address you in an aggressive tone like I am, but who the hell overcooked my chicken? This chicken was supposed to be medium rare. Calling Papa's Brothers Steakhouse. My name is Lupe Hammer. Who authorized you to hang up the phone on me? I'm sorry? Who authorized you to hang up the phone on me? Did RB, did oh, RBCP uh, tell you to hang up the phone? Because I didn't hear it. Oh, no, sir. I'm so sorry. I think it cut. I didn't mean to oh, hang okay. it up. I, I don't mean to address you in such an aggressive tone. But what had happened? Who? I mean, is it a new guy in the kitchen tonight? I ordered medium rare chicken. And I this, this was 100% well done chicken. Okay, um, can I place down a brief hold to speak to my manager about that? How how brief is the hold? Because I don't know if I have tolerance I'll, for it or not. Okay, I'll just, just a minute, please. I'll be just I can, no, a I can handle one minute, that's fine. Hey, you're holding this, Patrick, how may I assist you? Hey, big Patrick. Listen, I, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to be, I guess, a pain in the, in the rectum, but somebody prepared this all wrong. I, I ordered the chicken... I expected the chicken, and I said I needed the chicken medium rare. Um, but for some reason, somebody took it upon themselves to cook this well done. I'm so sorry about that. What else did you have with the, the order? Uh, I had the green beans and the baked potato. Okay. Um, do you have a, a ticket number on me? I, I don't. I you did like... the I did the curbside pickup. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to do a little more digging. Um, but it, I mean, is that I'll normal pass. practice? I know like sometimes I order burgers and steaks, medium rare. And I wanted the chicken medium rare and like, I've never had anyone to just go ahead and cook it however they want to cook it. Um, it could have been just the chef. And again, I, I would have to talk to the chef and he's unfortunately not here right now. Okay. Did he go uh, to culinary school? What are his qualifications? Um, he did. Yes, sir. Okay. I was just check. I didn't. Uh, I just want to make sure you didn't have some some bum off the streets. You had like a guy Fieri in there cooking or something. No, no, no. we actually have a, a, a French trained chef there. Oh, um, oh, I didn't know. Can that. I get your, Pardon the shit out of me. Uh, what what did you I need? Get, uh, your telephone number. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just let, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready, sir. All right, it's two one four. Okay. Three six six. Three six six. One five one five. One five one five. And your name? Uh, my name is Dwight. And your last name, Dwight? McClanahan.
All right, Mr. Uh, Dwight. I'm going to um, pass this information on to our guest relations manager, who's unfortunately not here right now. Oh, that's fine. Um, he, sh- he should be here Monday, um, and I believe he will give you a call back. Monday? And we'll you, you give him that here. kind of time off? Three-day weekend? Man. Well, we're unfortunately closed on Sundays, so uh, nobody will be here. And then uh, he left, I believe, at 8.30 today. So. Ah, yeah, all right. I, 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 under- I understand. So, but uh, I will definitely pass this along to him, and then uh, I'll, he'll reach out to you on Monday, okay? Okay. That All right, sounds thank you, great. Mr. Uh, Hand. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Dwight, tonight we got the Spider-Man flower. We're using the uh, Forbidden Fruit live resin icing. Hey, sorry, we were talking about marijuana here at work. Uh, right. we're at the, okay, we're, sounds good. Yeah, we're at the help desk. Uh, listen, we had a fax sent in. Uh, corporate was supposed to on the on the on the letterhead uh, said that we would be calling just to verify the integrity of the facts. Uh, you're doing what now? The, we had a fax sent in. I guess corporate sent it, and I'm just calling to make sure that everything came in crisp and clear and is it's all visible. And we need to get oh, it hung- gotcha. yeah, we got to have it hung up. It's uh, new procedures for the social distancing and the uh, the hygiene. Okay, let me check real quick. Hold on one second. All right, I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Hello. Yes. Hi. Um, there has not been. Uh... Okay. <laughs> there hasn't been what. I have not seen a fax come through or anything about social distancing at all. Okay, but it should have said on the cover letter that I would be calling to verify the facts. Uh, nothing about social distancing. Okay, what is? Because I haven't seen the facts myself. I just need. I was calling to verify that everything had come through and make sure that you had the instructions to hang it up. Yep. Um, unfortunately, what I have is not anything about social distancing, so I apologize for that. Nothing here came from corporate about social distancing. Well, what, okay? what is it? Because if it's not. Uh, the social distancing that I gotta call them and have them resend. Okay, what I've got is something about a flyer for Harvest Fest, and that's it. For Harvest Fest, when mm-hmm. is that? Uh, nothing that I know about Harvest. It's not a promotion that we're running or anything like that. Nope, um, not at all. Is it just one one sheet? Is that what it is? No, it's seven pages of just junk, just junk facts. Oh, it's a junk facts. Yeah. Okay, no, nothing, you didn't read anything in there about a man who has trouble masturbating? Seriously? And, and he has a boner, he has a big Wow, well, you're boner. funny. Man, you're so funny, I haven't heard that since my kids were five. Really, your kids were doing fax pranks at five? Oh, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> a big old boner. Boner. Welcome to Pilot, Christine speaking. May I help you? Hey, Christine. Yeah. I, w- I want you to go waddle your ass over to the fax machine and see if my fax came in. I think there is one. Hang on. All right. What is it? Uh, well, it's a new... Uh, Hello? D- yeah, it's a new directive from corporate. Is this AVA... T- yep. F A X. Yep. It was the, it was the faxing service that corporate used. Oh. And what what okay. which fax did they send you? Because they just told me I have to verify the fax in the transmission. I haven't actually seen the fax. Okay, it's a Harvest Feast twenty twenty hayride, hotted rides. Okay. How, pumpkin picking. How many pages is it? Two. Two pages. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. That, okay. So it's the fly. Okay. I got it. Um, so what they wanted me to check is, I guess, what we have to schedule you uh, to take a turn driving the tractor for the hayride. It's for a local event. So what time do you uh-huh. want to drive the tractor in the hayride? Me drive the tractor? Yeah. Yeah. We got a big old John Deere out here. 
and we're going to hook it up to uh, a wagon. It's going to have the hay bales on it. And Who the kids is there? Sit on it. Uh, I, I work at the help desk, but corporate says that I need to schedule you guys. It's a local event. It's a fundraiser. Okay. What day do I want to drive it? Yeah, to drive the tractor. It's going to be okay, on. Okay, what time? Well, it's uh, going to be on Thursday. Uh, the 20, This Thursday? Yep, the 29th. And we need you, you can have any time. It's going to be a night time. So we're doing from five until midnight. So what time do you want to come? It's an hour shift. You got to come drive the tractor for an hour. I'll come in at five. At five. Okay. And it's for one hour. And do you know the lyrics to She Thinks My Tractor Sexy? What? You know that old country song? She thinks my tractor sexy. That one. And you think you want me to sing? Well, you have to sing. Yeah, it's karaoke. It's a karaoke karaoke hayride. Okay. So you got a good singing voice? Well, I guess possible. Did 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 you sing in the church choir? I did sing in the church choir and I sang at school. Oh, oh, see, even even better. Um, do you know any <laughs> Tupac or Biggie songs? No. What about Johnny Cash? You know Johnny Cash? You know that old you know that old man? Hey. Yeah. Hey, hang on a minute. Fuck you. Motel Fix and Home where Robert's big on my house. Hey, Robert, how you doing? Um, do you guys got any uh, extension cords or power strips or anything down there? I need a few more. No, sir. Ugh. I'm, I'm decorating the room. I'm putting lights and stuff up. I'm going to run a haunted house out of my uh, hotel room. And, like, I, I just don't have enough outlets in here. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that here. Not supposed to do what? That, that's not my- uh, the whole haunted house out of the hotel room thing. That's no, no. Yeah, well, it's it's the way That's I'm going to be able to pay the bill. So I, I went and had it, like, I cut up the mattress. Like, I cut out a human shape so, like, a mummy can be sucked into the mattress and pop out. Um, I did cut a hole in the ceiling because I want to drop confetti down from the top. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. Um, what room are you in? You, what do you mean I'm not supposed to do it? Uh, you're not supposed to be cutting up sheets. You're not supposed to be doing that. I didn't cut the sheets up. No, the sheets are fine. I cut the bed. Hello? What room are you in? I, I don't yeah. know if I want to tell you now because you're telling me I'm not supposed to be doing this and I'm afraid I might have some charges coming back at my... Probably... I know you are. You know I'm what? what? So what? So what room are you in? Uh, two fifteen. Two fifteen. Okay. Um, I'll be down there to find out how much more you gotta pay. Hey, you put me on speakerphone. Hey, everybody! This man's masturbating. He has his hand on his dick, and he's like, uh, 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 salute to the U.S. <laughs> you have yourself a very beautiful day. Come to the haunted house. I'll be down there in a minute. Come to the All haunted right. house. Bring five dollars. Hello, having a Hi, can I make an order, stupid? Um, okay, what can I get for you? Okay, I need, uh, one general south chicken. I'm sorry, what is that? Kung, Fried chicken? Kung Pao chicken. I think you called the wrong way. Our is the Vietnamese restaurant, Vietnamese food. Aloha Pho, yes. Do you have Pho? Yeah, we we are, you know, a Vietnamese food, Vietnamese restaurant. Yeah, I get, mean, Vietnamese let me get, restaurant. Let me get some pho. Some pho. Okay, could you give me one second? I have one customer here. I, I need to help him. Just but one what, second. What does that Thank make you. me? I'm a customer. I need some pho. Okay. One order of so, pho. So, uh... And can I get okay, one, so you know what, one Vietnamese, uh-huh. Vietnamese 
foot. I would like to eat one Vietnamese foot. Vietnamese horse? Yes, horse. I don't, I don't get it. Is that the barbecue pork or a real pork on rice or something? Or I want horse. I want a Vietnamese horse with a side of rice. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't have that. Okay, do you have rat? Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Tell me which one you right. have. Do you have thank rat, you. cat, dog? Thank you so much. No. Sometimes a mini sorry. dog. I am I am so sorry, sir. I have um um you know if if you want you can look at our menu online because right now I I don't know what to, I have to okay, tell you, you lo- because there's you so have, many food and I'm have, I'm so confused hey, right now. You're talking a lot. Shut up. Do you have barbecue pussy? 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 No, I don't have, sir. I cannot recognize that one. Do you have labia? Beard? Labia. No, no, sir. I I don't understand, sir. I don't have those. Don't cry, it it don't doesn't cry, sound familiar to me. Do you need me to come give you a hug? No. If if you want, you can give me the number. We have the number issue with the order, the, the dishes. I I can recognize the number. You know, it, it's better for me to I realize your order. 12. Otherwise, I want a number twelve. Okay, number twelve. Okay. And, All right. And a number eight. Okay. And a number fifteen. Number 15 right now, I we don't do that. Okay. Well, then give me another number 12. Okay. Okay. So two number 12. Yeah. Okay. And a number 8. Okay. And then your phone number. Okay. So let me double with, check. Number 8 is fried chicken wing, right? It's what now? What are Okay, so you give me num- two number 12 and one number 8, right? Yeah, what are Number they? 8 is chicken wing. No, I don't eat that stuff. No. I'm, okay, I'm so I believe that you make all the wrong restaurant. I'm sorry, sir. Because, because... Thank you, bye. Will you, will uh, you I'm you sorry. Home? Will you go home with me? Okay, so so right now, if you cannot give me the number, I cannot help you, sir. 69. I need the, I need the number of the order 69. to help you. If you cannot, I will, I will you know, I, I have to. 69. I, I have a lot of customer waiting for me. I, I cannot go on, you know. motherfucker. God damn it, how many times do I have to say it? I don't know. He, you know, he like, oh, my God. He, he oh, don't you grow at me. I, I really want to help you, but, you know, he just keep me on the phone. Are you okay? I, I mean, I will give you that hug. I'll hug you so good. You know, what should I do? I'm thinking right now, because he's saying about, you know, sex or something. Should I just hang it up? Uh, I'm sorry, so could you give Don't me a call back? Yeah, thank you so much. Me. Don't exercise me. <laughs> She was getting really flustered and I don't, she was having a nervous breakdown by the, that order. She was sweet though, but yeah, she was very flustered. Oh, 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 oh you just destroyed oh. her sanct- sanctity for the night. She's like, she oh, was nice. Oh. Oh. Oh, I agree. You know what would have been perfect is if Crispy would have jumped in and told her to shut up. That would have been good. No, Crispy should have popped in she, to calm her she down. She kind of sounded like Crispy. Crispy should have came, like popped in and be like, "This is your conscience. Stop it. Stop now. <laughs> <laughs> calm the fuck down, lady. Yeah. Calm down." It, the, yeah, but I'm a little more sarcastic. So <laughs> <laughs> your food order, this food order, is not that important. Calm the fuck down. She was acting like my food order was her defusing a fucking bomb. Like, she's like, oh my god, like, we're down to 30 seconds. Which fucking wire do I cut? Like, that's what she was Maybe doing. she has to pee. That's- no, I'm excited because both my movies won. No, we were talking about the lady. We weren't talking about... <laughs> I don't have to pee, <laughs> though. I'm movie. just doing a happy dance. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> very it wasn't me. I heard it. So no, it was a, it was a guy. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Hi. 
Ma'am, I have a quick question. Did you just moan at me? Yes. I'm sorry? Did you just moan at me? Moan at you? Yeah, no. I, I was calling. The phone was ringing. And then I heard, like, I don't know. It, it sounded like a big burly man moaning at me. And I was just making sure it wasn't you. She hung up on me. Yeah, no, that wasn't me. Huh? She hung up on me. Oh, hey. Hello? Yeah. Can you moan real quick so I can cross I cross check that? Hey, how you doing there, buddy? Uh, I I seem to have misplaced some uh, shit in my room. Mm -hmm. I shit Mm -hmm. in here. It's shit. Okay. So, uh, what's the room number? Uh, 215. 215. I'm going to open the door, and if you just Uh follow your nose like Toucan Sam, just follow the smell of shit, and you'll find my room. 215. 215, sir. Okay. Oh, uh, you're just checking or? Yeah, I just checked in. And as soon as I walked in the room, I mm-hmm. unbuckled my pants. I unzipped my fly. And mm-hmm. I assumed the shitting position. And then I mm-hmm. pushed poop out of my bowels. Okay. It's on the bed. Mm-hmm. And then stinking the place up, I'd like you come and throw the shit out. So you told uh, that some somebody already did that, right? I did it. I did it. So uh, you need to clean, sir. No, no, no. The the poop on the bed is offending me. It has a foul odor, and it's violating my nose passages. I need you to come and escort the poop out. Tell it to get out of my room. It's no longer allowed on the property. I'm sorry, sir, but I I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay, you know how if somebody doesn't obey the rules and you throw them off the property, you say, you're no longer able to stay here. I want you to come in my room and tell the poop to leave. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot do that. Why not, Banchon? If it's done by a previous person, I need to talk to manager. Oh, come on. No, it was done by me, bloody. Bloody asshole, bloody. So, you can clean it, sir. No, come put your nose in it. It's against our policy. Put your nose in it, Gandu. Gandu! I'm sorry, sir. It's like Yahoo, but Gandu. What is all these people in the chat already? General Jabal, he got a nice Brad, Darth, Brandon Girl, Green Bee Hibachi, Vinny, Cray Cray, Crazy Craze. They're all in the chat already. Green Bee, you motherfucker, you. Wait a minute, is he even in here? He, what, his mother? He left. That's it. Cigarette holds the bed and then Hey! What? Why the fuck are you all in here? I don't know, but I just prank called some hotel. No, you didn't. You're a liar. Just... Green Bee Report. What the hell are I'm... you doing? I called um some no, hotel. You and didn't. I told them I was no, disabled. Shut up. Shut up. You're quiet. Shut up. I no. Called some... I called some hotel. Shut up. No, you didn't. Them. Shut up. <laughs> all right. All right. You do shit, motherfucker. All right, we're back. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> Go in there and straighten him out. Straighten him out. Shut up. I watched it. Click. <laughs> Dude, shut up. Well. Hey. Is that Delbert? Oh, uh, yeah, speaking. Yeah. I had to go through the records and, and look and look you up, buddy. Where, where do oh, you yeah? get Who's off it? telling my kids to fuck off? Huh? This because they walked on your property? You think you can yell at them? When? Who is this? Yesterday. Yesterday, he told me they pointed at your house. He said, Dad, it was that house. So I went back and I did some searching, and I found you, Delbert, age 36, uh, who, who, and you're a junior. Uh, who who was your kids? My ki- my two kids, school-age kids. They were walking down to the local mart on Pape People Road trying to get a chicken for me. And then they walked on your property, and they said you were at the door, and you yelled and cursed at them. And second of all... While we're having this conversation, tell that kid in the background to shut the fuck up. Why? Who, who the fuck are you, bro? Hey. Come, come to my fucking house right now, fucker. 
Well, I yeah, I never, I never, I never, I never fucking got no kids yesterday. I was at work yesterday. You were poking your stupid yeah. head out of number one twenty and yelling at my kids. What kids? My kids. The kids that went to go get the Who? chicken. Well, you what yell, chicken? I don't even know who you so many, who he's fucking hey, talking about. Hey, hey, you yell at so many kids, you don't know which ones are mine. No, who's your fucking kids? Hey, it was little George and little Kathy. Where they came from? They, they're in my building. They were walking, and they walked past your door, and you you yelled at him, you cursed at him, and you looked at you looked at my son's bulge in his pants. You're a pervert. What the fuck are you talking about? Why Chris, are you, you a know pervert? where my house is? You t- You're a fucking pervert. You dumb fucker. Come to my house right now. My kid Come to my house by. right now. My kid has mental mental problems. He's 18. He wears a helmet, and you were like. <laughs> and you you were trying to get him to come in your house. What the fuck are you talking about? I wasn't even home yesterday. You were like, <laughs> oh, nice helmet. Come here. You tried calling him like a little chicken, and I don't like it. Delbert. Yeah, just, stupid Delbert. Delbert. Delbert Jr. Come, come to my house right now, then. Uh, you don't, first off, you don't live in a house. You live in an apartment. Yeah, come to my apartment then. You can't afford a house, so don't be dreaming. Don't be dreaming those big dreams. Nobody running your fucking mouth if you don't like do nothing. Come over here then. Since you know where I live, come hey, over here. Run your fucking know, mouth I to me right now. Live. I know where you live because you come over here then, fucking faggot. You tried to sexually penetrate here, my faggot. retarded son mentally. Um, excuse me. I don't know who you're accusing of. of- Talking to your no, son, nobody but asked a woman my husband to get on the is a phone. respectful man. Hey, my no, husband nobody asked a woman will to get not... on the phone. Oh, no. You don't call our household and accuse my husband of something that's not only disrespectful, but something that I know for a fact he would not have done. Es- excuse me. I would never es- do that excuse me, case. ma'am. Dinner ain't going to make itself. You need to go excuse ahead and get, me? Your, get your butt back in that kitchen and make me some grits. If you want to make such an accusation, you can bring the police station to our house, to our address. Okay, and we let me would, pack we up the police station and I'll bring it to your it. house, you stupid. That's okay, fine. That's fine. That is Call fine. Cops, make a complaint. And the come whole to our police house right station. Now. I'm going to put the police station in the back of a truck and I'm going to bring it right to your apartment. <laughs> Good. Listen, Thank don't call our house and call my husband's personal phone to make house. accusations and then ask that you don't think you're going to do something about it. Like, live, really, you do not don't, don't do that. You don't live in a house. And? Well, come to the apartment. You keep saying house. Our, police, you don't have our, house. our home has nothing to do with this accusation you're that, that you're accusing my husband dream. of. Excuse me? I said, you keep saying house, you're doing that big city dreaming. You ain't got a house, you got an apartment. You got a part of what, what are, would be a house. Excuse me, what are you so butthurt about? Like what? What are you? Go to the police hey, station. You these go bring your head? son and go go call the police and go bring your son that you say I was doing these fucking things to and come Man, over here. Your husband tried to masturbate my son and steal his chicken. Well, I'm glad to. I'm hoping you're glad to know that our unit. I know you claim it's not a house has cameras, so I'd be glad to go over the yeah. footage with the police department. To go ahead and back up your so-called claim. Okay, don't touch the don't touch any of the cameras or the film. I don't want you doctoring anything or deleting anything. I want the no proof. problem. Go like, ahead. Why do you have that high pitch? Oh my gosh, this guy must be like um you know not in the right mind. Yeah. Well, sir, you know I look forward to HCC excuse me, Kanaka. Us, put the and, man uh, back on. I didn't ask know, to talk to you. Interesting. Yeah, I'm right here, fucking it. Kanaka. I'm right here. Well, what, what hey, you like? Hey, Kanaka. If, you got, if you're not going to do nothing, shut your fucking mouth. We'll call the fucking police. Or well, I'm calling the police, and we're going to fucking figure this out. I'm coming over right now with a coconut, and me and you are going to break coconuts, and we're going to make peace. You're a fucking idiot. Would you like a California <laughs> sushi roll? Bring bring your so-called son with mental problems, then. Bring him also. No, see, that's why we're in the problem, because you tried to lure him into the house once. You think I'm just going to bring him over into the house? I'm sorry. I give you too much credit. I called your place a house. Apartment? Whatever, dude, bro. Well, I'm going to get my wife on the phone. Uh, Go ahead. Cat, bring your, bring cat, your get wife on the also. Phone. Get on the phone. This man had his had his wife yell at me. That's very Bring your wife also. Hi. Yeah, I'm here, fucker. Hi. Let's talk. Yes, How are you? Talk. Good. How are you? 
I'm doing good. How's your day watch, going so watch, far? Watch out, honey. He's a pilau lolo. What the fuck is that? See, please, please. See, I got a wife from the mainland. I got a wife from the mainland. I didn't have to settle for a, a Hawaii native. I or- yeah. I ordered her from the mainland. Yeah, they're on speaker. Let, let them hear. But who hear what? We're listening. Yeah, Albert Jr. No, I called us not. on a private number. He, they're on the phone right now. Yeah. Yeah. I know there was no threats, officer. They're full of shit. I asked you how your day was. He's not in the area, though. He's the yes. As far as we know, he claims he knows where we live. He claims that he's not comfortable at home. He claims that... Um, oh, actually, you invited me to the house. I didn't say I was coming to the house. And it's not a house. It's an apartment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Kanaka. You still there, Kanaka? Yeah. What What do you guys want? You lying to the cops. You telling them there was threats. There was no threats. You invited me to the apartment. I didn't say I was coming. And I only asked how what, your what? day was going. How How is your How are your guys' day? Fucking fantastic. Oh yeah, that's yeah. awesome. I just gave my wife a marijuana injection. She's very calm now. Oh, wait, you guys do drugs? Oh, if you could tell that baby in the background to shut the fuck up, that'd be great. Shut the fuck up. Hey. You hey. guys better shut oh, the fuck up. Oh, good. Thank you for telling your baby that. Phew. Yeah. You better shut the fuck up. Hey. I will if you your know baby what? does. I'm going to walk over there and I'm going to squeeze your wife's titty and she's going to spray breast milk in your face. <laughs> Your, you know what? Your wife your wife sounds like she you voted for Trump and she farts a lot. You hear what they saying? They saying you can come over here and squeeze your titties. <laughs> and she's best milk. I'm gonna get a stool and a bucket and she's gonna be on all the fours and I'm gonna milk her. I'm gonna milk your wife. That sounds pretty hot. He's making yeah. inappropriate he comments tell, to me telling me he's gonna come here, he's gonna he's gonna squeeze my breath. So what you doing? So what are you doing? Talking to you. Oh, cool. You tell Where your you, you tell your wife. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a stool and a bucket, and then I'm gonna milk her like a cow. Where Where are you guys at? We're down. You know where Horse Machine Ranch Road is. Why don't you guys come downtown? I don't like downtown. You people are violent. Oh. We just wanted to get a chicken. A chicken? Yeah, I'm going to feed you postnatal vitamins and make you both dinner. You understand me? I'm going to cook you dinner. And I'm going to keep you on the phone as long as I can because then I don't have to go watch Sinister. So yeah. I'm just going to drag this on, man. Yeah, please hang up the phone. We need to watch a movie. If yeah. you could hang up the phone, that'd be great. Yeah, we were d- Sir, hang up the fucking phone. I command you. You. I command you to hang up the phone. <laughs> you can't command me to do shit, fuck please. I command you. I think we just did. Hang up the fucking phone. Yeah, my wife told you to hang up the phone, so it's a done deal. You hang up the phone. You hang Go up. hang up the you phone. I command you. To hang, up hang, up. To hang up the phone. I command you to hang up the phone. You're going to run out of minutes. I command you to hang up the phone. And Obama is I command you to hang up the phone. No, you. You hang it up. I command you to hang up the phone, motherfucker. Hang it up. Hang that fucking phone up. I will have them bring you to the volcano and sacrifice you to me. I am the white devil. Are you not smart enough to know how to hang up a phone? He probably thinks you're still oh. cord attached. Hey, we're not backing down. You want to make accusations, okay? We ain't backing down. We did nothing wrong. If you want to keep this ridiculous party going, go right the ahead. I told you to shut the fuck up, didn't they? Oh, no. They're coming to our home. To your home? Oh, great. Waste the police's time. That's yeah. fun. 
Good job, lady. They're going to arrest you because I'm going to. Hey, I'm going to hack your. I'm friend, we have no problem. Okay? I'm going to hack we your have phone. To be afraid of. I'm going to hack your phone and erase all all traces of this call, and you're going to look like a liar, and then they're going to arrest you. In the name of Jesus, bring it on, buddy. Oh. Oh, Jesus, no. oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Your husband's very susceptible to Jesus. No, no, Jesus, no. No, Jesus, no. Oh. Dude. Don't say Jesus. Don't say, don't you ever pray for me again. Yeah, don't do not do that, oh, please. Oh, my God. That's, that's worse than the holy water. Remember when Sam and Dean came over here and they sprinkled holy water on me? Oh, my God. I had to call Crowley. Oh. Ma'am, hang up the phone and quit saying things like that to me. Don't you pray for me anymore. I'm happy your baby's quiet now, though. That's nice. Yeah, they drugged the baby. Probably give it some whiskey. It's a whiskey drink and it's a vodka drink. And then the baby goes night night. Hello? Hello? Why did you call me? Give the baby a thimble more of vodka. No, whiskey. Don't use vodka. Use whiskey. Yeah. Give it screwball whiskey. It tastes like peanut butter. The baby will like it better. Put it on speaker. I'll read your child a lullaby. I'll make the baby go to sleep. Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Uncle Henry's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird don't sing. <laughs> Sorry, I was coughing. I couldn't finish the song. <laughs> Marijuana is a hell of a drug. Marijuana is the new cocaine. Is he going to hang up that phone or uh, now just going to hang out with us for a little bit? Stupid bird. <laughs> 